when you start to mix them, those impact the body's muscle systems, breathing, you stop breathing, and then obviously what happened to Tyler Sash happens. Mike Vasquez is the CEO of the St. Gregory's Retreat Center in Des Moines. He shows us how painkillers could reset our body's normal standards. A opioid-based pain reliever is the standard practice in the U.S. now. The problem with that is, is that within 72 hours, in a lot of cases, the body can become addicted or dependent. So when a painkiller is taken away, the body can start to show withdrawal symptoms. So anxiety, depression, nausea, or even physical pain. Since two drugs were involved in Tyler Sash's case, Vasquez says only medical help could have treated the overdose. And so the way we can be aware of that is to be aware of those potentials, those issues, identify them, and try to get off of them as soon as possible. A total of 46 Americans die each day from prescription opioid overdoses. Live in studio, Emmy Victor, KCCI 8 News, Iowa's News Leader.